I was connected to my um, my Bluetooth speaker. That's why I'm so stupid. I was connected to my Bluetooth Bluetooth speaker. That's why. Now it's fine. Thank you so much for letting me know. The fourth horseman. Whatever. Like I don't know your name. If it's okay, can you tell me your name? If it's fine with you. So now that everything is covered up, we're going to let it soak. And by the time we'll decide what we are going to do on yes i'm going to i'm going for a, uh, steven okay steven i'll remember it i'll remember it i am going for a light pink shade on my lip that's why this lip tint it's from my hue i bought this from amazon it's amazing i suggested my friend to buy this but um she accidentally bought the one in red but even that looks good by the way, I broke my favorite purse today. I broke my favorite purse today. <clears throat> um, but like it had like these pearl beads type of like, you know, the strap was like pearl, huge pearls and it was so beautiful. And I broke it. Damn. So. I'm not doing like a lot of makeup today. I'm just doing like a little bit and I will make my eyes shine. I, I love like a silver, like a highlight. Like I love putting highlighter on my eyelids. I love that shit. I love, I've, I've always loved it because even when I was like, you know, not very good at makeup, I used to do it. I used to put highlighter on my eyelids. I don't like wearing mascara because I feel like it does nothing to my eyes, but I still put it because I still wear it because like the concealer gets on your eyelids or on your eyelashes. So it looks weird. I cannot find its uh, gap and it's kind of ruined AF. I cannot find its gap. By the way, if anyone is wondering if anyone, um, are harems considered as haram? Look, I'm not Muslim. I'm not Muslim. Why do you think I'm Muslim? I have no idea what is considered. I mean, I know a few things that are considered haram, but I'm not Muslim, so cannot, I cannot comment on that. Also, being very honest, I don't know what harems are. <laughs> Look, I'm being honest. I'm not, I'm not going to be like, oh, yeah. No, I actually don't know what those are. These brushes have not dried. Okay, this one has dried, but I don't, I don't need this one. <clears throat> I'm going to highlight my eye uh, lid now. Wait, I don't have... Okay, yes. I have been doing my makeup without a mirror for a very long time now. Like a very long time. Because every time I do my makeup, I go on live. I hop on live. Yesterday, I went live like three times. And every single time I got like... No, I went live four times. And three times, I got like the best... Um, oh. I, Thank you. I got a lot of uh, attention and views, which I love because I love talking to you people. You know, putting thick, um, what do you call it? Thick layer of concealer on your eye is very important. Will, will you gonna be another wife in my harem? Look, dude, you have to tell me what a harem is. You have to tell me what a harem is. I don't know what that is. Is 
isn't this cute okay it's not coming out cute i don't know why <laughs> you don't need the makeup just let your hair down and smile and you'll get plenty of views no i'm not doing makeup for views i'm not doing it for views i'm going out with my friend and i like um um, I like like I like looking pretty honestly that's what you can say I like looking pretty I think that's all that are the, the separate part of a Muslim household reserved for wives, concubines and female servants I don't know look that sounds very weird honestly so hell no i'm not gonna be anyone's second or third wife if you want to be my 10th husband sure i mean i don't have a husband but yeah the women occupying the harem the wives are occupying the Ew, I hate polygamy. I fucking hate polygamy. It's disgusting. I don't care if any religion... Yeah, I don't like it. I don't think it's na It's like natural. Unless you're like marrying for political shit, political benefits and everything, okay, go ahead maybe. But otherwise, hell no. Hell no. I, if, even if I'm like the biggest um, anti-love person, I would never be someone's second wife because I got an ego. Hell no. No, D will like that sounds very weird. Like the word concubine, I don't think that's a good word. So I don't know why I would use use that. Exactly, it is Steven. No judging, but that sounds like an awful life for a woman. It is, it is. No woman likes to share her man. No woman. No matter which religion says what, no woman likes it and it's not okay. Uh-uh. Nope. Hell no. This is fine, right? I'm not going for like a very like a lot of makeup okay should i okay i'll go for a blush i'll blush my cheeks but fuck i don't have a blush so instead i use this lipstick i use this lip tint um to for a blush like blushy look i need to buy a blush i'll make my friend buy me a blush because she was like ria i'm i started a new job and i want to buy you something and i was like and she was like i'll pay the entire bill because the bill was like 2000 2k something i was like no don't pay for the food you can buy me makeup because i feel like wasting money on makeup like i cannot someone else has to buy me it <laughs> like if you give gifting me something make it makeup give me makeup period so let's see um you know what i'm good at makeup but sometimes i do these stupid mistakes while doing my makeup which make me look like a child I was home alone once like a few like uh, a few weeks ago for three days and I was like okay let me do my makeup I did it and it came out like the worst look ever I didn't even take a picture I was so embarrassed it was like the worst look ever I don't know what I was thinking oh I forgot to uh, I, I forgot to contour my nose but I will I also need to get my nails extension but I'm waiting for a month I'm gonna wait for a month before I get them You want to know something it is so crazy because like when you tell these basic ass guys who have never even gone out of the house when they find out that guys do approach women like in public that like they literally come up to you and be like you're really beautiful and whatever like they want um they they do that it has happened with me multiple times but it's like most of the time it is someone that i'm not least interested in and honestly i don't like this this shit like someone just coming up to me in public like instead why don't you like buy me something <laughs> So last time when it happened, I was in the Saket mall and two guys came up to me and they were like flirting with me and my friend. But it turned out that they were promoters. They needed girls for their club. That's why they were faking that shit. And I could tell, I can tell, I can feel, I can sense energy really fast. I can sense energy. And I could feel like something is wrong. I don't, I'm not liking these people. Also like for me, you guys know that how big of a lover i am of like arab men so like anything that is not arab is not cutting for me by the way i went to priya complex oh shit i took the wrong color i went to priya complex no i didn't no i went to the saket mall the same day i saw a man he was wearing a soup 
sob soup i don't know what they call it okay they call it a soup right the, the white outfit of arabs i was like bro i was looking at him like respectfully but i was like i love arabs he was he was from like africa he was like african arab um like maybe from uh, sudan or morocco is morocco in africa i don't know <laughs> maghrib so i'm going to contour my nose because i need it by the way can you guys please like my stream can you all please like it last last night when we went live i think it was um d will steven and a few of few other people and i was getting hella views because you know at night time people are like chilling on their phones and shit i don't know if anyone is going to watch it right now i feel like i fucked my contour up my makeup is not coming out good now that i have to go out it's not coming out good riyab ali hi riyab 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 i don't know the pronunciation but hello okay i'm going to put i'm going to wear my eyeliner now i love eyeliners because shira 7 loves eyeliners and i love shira 7 i'm a fan yes you know i am not someone who will like who genuinely idolizes people very quick i don't idolize people very quick because i tend to not find something worth idolizing in them but shira 7 she is more than an idol she's like a mother you look damn good thank you thank you you're very sweet i love shira 7 so much and i love people who respect um the femininity maybe you'll meet a wealthy handsome arab man today steven if it comes true i'm going to send you so much money i i swear if it comes true i'm going to send you so much money should i go for like the white liner i think i will i should have gone for a blue eye shadow i think but okay whatever thank you steven thank you so much I'm here, Riyab Ali. Are you Arab? <laughs> See, when I guess, I think your uh, predictions are coming true. Are you Arab, Riyab Ali? but i was checking like the demographics of the people that watch my video watch my live and videos as well i was getting views from like turkey um it italy and you know european countries like wow like what the hell did you guys watch <laughs> no black american i wish i had arab oil money <laughs> okay You know, actually, the stereotype that all Arabs are rich is actually not true, and that all Arab men are providers is also not true. Many of them tend to be cheap. Riyab Ali, you're Arabic. Wow, that's nice. Which country are you from? Which country are you from? The Arab country. Um, that I call them a Larabia. Mm. I'm going to color color it up a little more. I feel like the lighting is really bad. I think I should switch it up, right? But you're going to see the window. Okay, this is fine, is it? Or like that was better because I'm not liking either of them. Mm. I would lose my mind if I went to Dubai. Why? Why? 
انا من البحرين او ماي جاد يو سبسكرايب تو مي اي لاف ارمن انا من الهند انا هنديه Yes, I I can tell. I am in Al Bahrain. Lots of wealthy Arab men in Dubai. Oh yes, that's okay. Yes, that's why yes, I I would I would. But you know what? The the richest people in Dubai, the richest men in Dubai are Indians. The top three richest people, something like that, they're Indians. So, I, I I'm I'm aiming for like, um, I'm gonna go to Saudi next year, or I'm trying for this year, but next year I'm definitely going to Saudi. Yes, that's true, Stephen. Indians are very rich. Like they migrate and they're like the richest people ever. I don't know why they don't do the same shit in this country. I mean, they do actually. This is my favorite highlighter ever. I love it. Oh, I forgot to fill my eyebrows. No, you should not feel like a creep. It's fine. We all watch someone. There are people doing like weird shit on YouTube, short live. So at least you're watching someone do their makeup and not something else. I feel like it came out good. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how I'm looking. I'm not a random girl. And it's me, Ria. And it's me, Ria, for real. My name is Ria. R I Y A. And it's me, Ria, and I'm in a hint. Where's my eyeliner? I cannot find my liner. Where's my liner? Oh yes, here we go. Blue. For someone who says I don't like the color blue, I have a lot of blue stuff. I have a lot of blue clothes. I'm going to do my liner now. So give me a second. By the way, um, I actually have a rant related to the things that I've been saying recently, related to like the world affairs and everything. I have another rant, another update on it, but I cannot do it right now because I'm kind of in a rush. I have to leave by two fifty, uh, two uh, by two, like in fifteen minutes. So even though like that rant is very important and very interesting for women, especially honestly, not women, not for everyone, but especially for women. Yes. Where the fuck is my brush? Uh, you are watching a Athar video. I don't know what Athar is. Gem Monarch. Um, okay. So actually, I came up with this. I used to be called Lady Karma. I used to call myself Lady Karma, but I got into numerology, and they were saying like that the the Lady Karma name is not you know lucky for me. So I changed it to Gem Monarch. Monarch signifies like I am really into like politics and I want to like get into politics. I know I don't look like someone who would be interested in it, but I am. And uh, Monarch is like kind of just expressing how I want to get into politics because it's political, right? And I want to kind of change the system of the country and everything. Gem is just like a like I'm a gem, like that's like a my name, like me name, a nickname, you know? Because my name is so small. It is Ria R A Y A. So I needed a smaller name. I like Lady Karma, but it it just depicted like I'm just 
temporary like karma comes and it goes right but no monarchy will stay forever My eyebrows look so good like for like after a very very long time and I have to do this side as well. Gem Monarch. It's a very, I like this name. I like the word Monarch. I had worse ideas. Worse. But I would get cancelled for it. Like I would start a monarchy with a North Korean model. I'm just kidding. Don't take it seriously. Um, by the way, it just stuck me like my, my professors, they really love me because I love my major, like what I'm studying. I love my major and I'm doing really well in it. I work very hard. So my professors really love me and I, and you know what? I love being loved by, loved by whoever has the authority. It's a thing. Like I love being loved by people who are more powerful than me, not par powerful. Like, I mean, they are powerful, right? But like authority. Asar is a religious God. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll look into it. I've never heard of it. I thought you guys worship Allah. I mean, you're Muslim, right? So who, what's Athar? Ad Athar. I'm Hindu, by the way. I'm not Muslim. Um, but I have I have a lot of interest in Islam. I do. Though I don't know everything about it, I know a lot of stuff about it and a lot of history as well. I know a lot of history. I keep up with... Okay, I'll find it. Yes, I was going to find it out. Like, Sound interesting. Athar. I know about is Israel. He's like the king of death or like the um, god, god of... I don't know, something of death. Israel. That's all I know. And I know like about the prophets. ISSA, the ISSA, what? No idea what that means. The will. Is this a song again? Because last night you were singing no scrubs. And yes, no scrubs. No dusties, no scrubs, no mulech. None of that. Spending all your money on me. Just spending time on me. Hmm. God of thunderstorm. Okay, wow. You know it was thundering in Delhi, like yesterday and last night, and this morning as well. This is the look. No, I'm just kidding. Um, you know, if it was like the past self, my past self, I I cannot. Ha I I was the most sensitive person ever. I was like over sensitive. I could never handle getting like hate, especially online. I could never handle it. But now I don't give a flying fuck. I don't. I mean, 
people should have like the right to say whatever they want and shit but whatever who cares i don't care uh, what mostly indian girls look for in a man that he's alive like i'm not joking india is very messed up when it comes to marriage and marriage so in islam you have a tradition where the man has to pay the woman meher right but in india in southeast asian countries even muslims follow this and even muslims are the ones who like the muslim men they take um they take money from the women so for the for the women like they don't have much high standard honestly they don't like generally speaking individually they can for example i do but generally they don't have a very high standard cuz any woman that is paying a man to marry her clearly has no standards or or respect or cool but like for me though my standards i have standards and i will always have standards is my makeup looking good or i feel like i, I just look the same i'm going to open my hair there a little wet what's my standard well i like arab men <laughs> i like arab men a lot i'm i'm like in love with arab men shit and i like it um i like guys with like provider guys i'm not i'm not going to pay a man to marry me like the other people but i i want a provider man and i want a man who is masculine as fuck i don't want those offended little mlech type of men hell no you're not tanya's ex you're lying you're not is you're not her ex you're lying i don't believe you devil oh thank you steven thank you so much thank you i use like a different shampoo this time i and i use like conditioners which i, I never use conditioners okay well fine i last tanya i last tanya what she has to say about this I feel like you're you're trolling, but but she did say that she has a Ukrainian ex, so maybe you are her ex. It's okay, it's fine. She had a Ukrainian ex, and she had like a uh, Lebanese from Lebanon. Yes, from Lebanon, a guy from Lebanon. For me, I've never had a boyfriend. Never. I've had like I've been on dates and shit, but never a boyfriend. I've never been in a serious relationship. That's what I'll say. Well, since it's fine. I don't like. By the way, I don't like guys who are like religiously very extreme or very strict. I don't like people who let like religion control them. I don't. Period. I don't. It's all control, like no, hell no. My hair looks fine now. I want to carry this brush with me, but I don't have that much space in my bag. In my purse. Where is my purse? I don't know. <sighs> okay, I'll bring my purse and stay here. Okay, I'll be back just now. Okay, this is my purse. Like this was my originally my purse. It had like a pearl um strap, but it broke, so I had to replace it with this fucking shit. I had to replace it with this shit, and it looks so whack now. But I, I have no other option but to carry it. And I'll bring I'll bring my I'll bring my heels. So stay with me. I'll bring my heels.
I'm wearing the same plain heels. I've had this since like 2021. But I want to wear my other heels, tall, really tall heels. But you know what? If I was traveling by Uber, I would. You can hear me, right? If I was traveling by Uber, I would. But since I'm like going by the uh, metro, I can't. And I'm not going to reveal where I'm going because it's not safe, clearly. But I wish I could remove this text from this um, strap. Yes, that's true, Ria Bali. Uh, Indian girls are going crazy over Korean men. I have a few friends, they are learning Korean language in the university and they are crazy over BTS and, you know, K-pop. They're crazy over it. I, I don't personally, I like masculine guys. I like masculine, I don't like guys who are like, you know, too feminine. Or act like feminine, uh, I don't like that. But I respect that. I respect what they want. I don't bully people. I'm not a bully. Um, I need to leave, by the way. But I still have some time. What's the temperature out there outside? Because it seems like you're so some lower for me. <gasps> yes, that's why it's so hot outside. Because I'm going out now. <laughs> you're funny. I really wish, you know what? I'm going to manifest that. Dear Lord, I am going out today. Please make a beautiful provider man. Come up to me and be like, oh my God, you're so beautiful. I'll take you shopping. I'll buy you whatever you want. And then he takes me and I buy a lot of purses, heels and makeup, whatever he likes. And he also pays all my bills. Dear God, please make that happen. So I pray to God. I think I need to make my liner a little thick. Okay, so I'll fix it. I hope this happens. I hope this happens. Because it happens like it. Ha amen. D will. Amen. You know what? Stuff like this happens. It happens. Men don't men don't believe you when you tell them. My female friends don't believe me when I tell them. That's because, bro, you're not putting your best outfit on and going out and looking all approachable and shit. Men do pay for stuff. I wish I had eyelash extensions right now, but I don't. Eyelash ex extensions, they change the game. They change the shit up, you know? <clears throat> so y'all, I'm out. I'm out now, okay? Bye.